Good morning, Backyard Kids. It's a brand new month, the beginning of fall, and we have a whole new theme and focus for this month. We're gonna continue our journey through the Bible, hearing these amazing stories, and this month, our focus is gonna be all about trust, which means putting confidence in someone that you can depend on. So our Tory story today is gonna to take us way back again into the Old Testament. We're gonna hear more about Abraham. Now you may remember that when God created the world, it was perfect and amazing. But after some time, sin entered the world and things didn't look quite so good. But God had a plan and he chose to use someone very special, that same man named Abraham, to be a part of that plan. So you may remember from last week's story that God had asked Abraham and his wife to trust him and to move to a land that he would choose for them. To trust him blindly to go and do that. And so they did. and. They were blessed by God. They had a great life, wonderful time together, but they still had no children. And during this period of time, God came to Abraham and he made him a very special promise. He told Abraham that he and Sarah would have more descendants than even the stars in the sky. They believed God, but they also found it kind of funny because at this point in time, they were already old enough to have great grandkids and they didn't even have one child of their own yet but they trusted and they waited, and they waited, and they waited. For years and years, they trusted this, this would happen, and yet nothing. And then, when they were 99 years old, Sarah did indeed have a child. Now, this was a beautiful, wonderful thing, but when she saw this wonderful promise that God had made to them fulfilled. She couldn't help but laugh because here she was, an old woman with a brand new baby that she was taking care of. And that's actually where their son's name came from. His name is Isaac, which means child of laughter. Now, the important thing about this story, guys, is that Abraham and Sarah trusted. They had to wait years and years to see the fulfillment of God's promise to them, but they always trusted and they never gave up because they knew that they could have confidence in God, that they can always depend on God. And that's what I want you to remember today too, kids. You can always trust God all the time, especially when you have to wait. Have a wonderful week.